Put Gavin down to your wall. <laughs> I have an idea for a new open floor plan. Yeah. Go. So, if I just bodily pierce the wall. If I just emerge from one room to the other. That's what I'm gonna do it. Just install lighthouses by any means. I sorry, lighthouses, light switches by any means necessary. Oh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the intro. Chat's rolling in. Wait, you good? You ready? Hell yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome back. It is Crow and I here at the end of the game, the end of all. Things game related. And I am going to go cause problems for possibly the last time in Night City. I must I must don my battle armor. Oh, fuck it, we weren't like trying to not be heard. We knew you could hear us over the intro. We don't give a shit. We're just having a conversation. Wasn't like we were talking shit, you know what I mean? But now we will. It's fun Falkenstein guy. What a nerd. He watches me play video games. Didn't he know he could be playing video games right now? Crazy. See, there you go. Got a little that for you. Ah, oh, but seriously though. Let's get let's get ready to I don't know. Go tear down a Japanese corporation with our bare fucking hands. And possibly a sword. Oh, but what will that what will do? What clothing will do for such a monumentous occasion? I think we wear the same ratty black coat I've been wearing for six years. Um, let's see. This tank. Yeah, we'll wear a giant's tank top because it, it looks fine. And Samurai was an okay band. Uh, and let's see. Harem pants or combat pants? What do we like? Hmm. What are you feeling? I can't wait for it to catch up. Uh, I'm dro yeah, I can wait for it to catch up. Oh, I gotcha. Um, Uh, I don't know. I think, I think harem pants. I do too. Oh, you gotta be comfy when you're committing crimes. Yeah. It, it's super important to be comfy. Yeah, exactly. Clear circuits, bare feet, can't lose. Down or damn right. What a silly good so Will Dwelkin, hello, yeah. Dusty. Thanks for the five, the five months of uh, subbing with Prime. Much appreciated. You're always welcome to hang out here while we do this thing. <laughs> Yes, Von Falkenstein. He is. Crow is always exceedingly quiet, and there's nothing you can do oh. about it. <laughs> we have three, four streams in a row now. Competed with this well, circumstance. If I turn my microphone up any louder, it just clips, but I don't get any louder for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like we've, we accomplish nothing. Yeah. It's the worst, actually. Yeah, if I turn it up on mine, it just sounds worse, but it's still quiet. That's <laughs> why <laughs> more military-oriented clothing. That makes sense. Well, I've done what I can do. I've done every side mission I know to do. I've done every gig. Uh, yeah, peak technology, Liz. This is how you know it. Uh, I said farewell to my wasteland girlfriend... And now I go to commit the great act of techno sorcery that is beating, I assume, beating Ab Smasher to death with a brick. He 
you better bring a brick. I wish, you know, it were an option. All I've got is these hands and this cool sword. I can't stress how cool the sword is. <laughs> you know what I'm surprised? They don't have those, like, flea market samurai swords with, like, the dragon, like, shaped blade. You know what I mean? Yeah. Made with legendary stainless steel. I hold on a sec here. My hands probably do hit harder than bricks, though, Liz. Also, let me shut this window so you're not to hear the apartment maintenance man's uh, wonderful pickup truck that is definitely not from 1996 and runs on what I assume to be just the ground up bones of his relations. That shit uh, rolls black smoke and does not much else. Nice guy, actually. What do you want, Carrie? I'm at the end of the game. Drop whatever you're doing. Meet me at the marina. Don't make me wait. Just wants to hang out. Say no more. On my way. All right, Carrie. I'm coming, but I'm about to commit crimes, Carrie. Uh, Night City Marina, Pier Four. You son. Hanging out with Carrie is always a fun time. It's generally speaking pretty cool. Fine. I go to the marina to hang out with Carrie Uridine. Instead of, instead of committing my great act of war, but it's only because I like my friends and know that the game ends when I commit my great act. So give me a second. I'm going to go hang out with him real quick. <laughs> Drop everything. I'm coming to... On the bright side, if I go to the marina, that makes more sense because like a boat's a good place to not wear shoes. <laughs> Never you mind that the ocean is filled with AI driven nightmare subs from the second or first call and corporate war. Uh, that's not the important part. Surely they have bigger fish to fry than like Carrie Uridine's moderately sized yacht. Yeah. It's just mud. <laughs> like, yeah. There's a most. There's a lot of that in my experience. Just lots of like. You know, this is supposed to be dirty and bad, but honestly, like, I still think. So I still see things like. I still see the bottom here, and ostensibly creatures still live in this. This is not as bad as it could be. Oh, yeah. Like, that. That whole uh, water should be rainbow colored. I agree, Liz. All right, Carrie, it's 7 a.m. I waited four hours. I wanted. Hey there, oh, don't talk to me like a pirate carrier. Unfortunately, I'm here. Ahoy. Ahoy back at you. What do you want, weirdo? I do like this guy, actually. He's pretty cool. Cruise around the bay, kicking it with old Carrie. I was going to commit crimes, but sure. Okay, yeah, sounds promising. I'm in. Music to my fucking ears. Now if I can find that button to raise it. Dad, fuck it. Seamurai, all ahead. I'm fucking sorry. Is this boat named Seamurai? I kind of love that, I'm not going to lie to you. Is this the mission? Just chill on a boat? Is that your song? I didn't recognize it. Because it's new. Riff's been bouncing around my skull for a while now. I feel like I'm onto something really special here. Okay, so let me hear what this is all about. Like I said... Life's loops. Uh, breakfast cereal? Oh, no, 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 no. 
loops, cycles. One chapter ends, another begins. Life's full of them. At least my guru. Tells well, Ferris, some I don't have time to hear this man talk to me about. Uh, Talk to me about his boat naming conventions. I like life's little surprises. It is a great riff, Liz. I agree. You're in Tangland. Middle of fucking nowhere. Off grid. Net blockers included. Our last meet. Keon told me that time for closure. Loop completion. I'd come. That's why we're here. You and me. So I've committed a terrible food, uh... Okay. Oh, first off, ahoy the fuck up, Samurai. We've got a marina to burn. It's one of my favorite things I've ever said. I love that, Samurai. So I've committed a huge food sin today. I made uh, tortellini this morning. Like, I fucking folded tortellini this morning, bro. I'm very excited about it. It's got chicken and spinach and cheese in it. Like, I was, like, super excited to do it. Guess what? Hour before stream, realized I don't have marinara sauce. None. And I ain't making none. I got an hour before stream. So what do you do? I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know what you... Look, what you did in that kitchen is between you and God, right? Alright, so what I did... Was I cooked the marinade? I, 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 you know, I prepared the pasta perfectly, and then I did the only thing I knew to do. I cracked a can of spaghettios and poured that shit across it like marinara sauce. You are a beautiful bastard. <laughs> I absolutely despise and love that. <laughs> And that's uh, and that's how we're doing it today, man. I just want you to know. While Carrie's talking to me, I'm eating uh, I'm eating handmade tortellini with uh, a fine, a fine sauce prepared by the Campbell's Corporation. You need company, a sauce Dad. that coats your insides. Yeah, company. and stains them even. I needed you, yeah. I'm glad, Liz. I'm thinking about that us cracks. It does. <laughs> you shake things up, me. Make me feel. I, I mean, before you came along, I was stuck in the mud. Okay, you're not like this. Now, got me thinking about a new song, a new album, even. A real fucking thrasher with a new soul. Just get everything from now on. Had what I think folks call an epiphany. Could just be what folks call maturity. Uh, you know, said I'm glad that you feel. Uh, I'm glad you see the the value in my actions. Well, starting tomorrow. I will say, this platoon he's got going. I actually am a big fan of this. It's real relaxing. Also, fucking Johnny just vibing over there. Deck of the ship, yeah. Chief. You gonna fucking help me, or just stand there like a gawk? While I'm sitting. The chaos and destruction. Why the fuck not? All right, what's your thing? Something heavy. And no regrets after owning a trashed yacht. My yacht? Honestly, think I'd name my boat Seamurai. Fuck. Who's the fuck is it? That head motherfucker. Help B. 
Okay, let's rip this boat to shreds. Well, well. Finally ready to party. Either he's gone senile or he's finally wising the fuck up. Could be either. Listen, I'm all for whatever this is. Except the place we have gorilla arms. Just smash the thing. What's something on? Yeah. Money. What else can I break? I'm not done breaking strangers' things. Give me a hand with this motherfucker! Okay. You're the boss, Chief. Hello. No, thanks, me. I'm all right. Shh. Still got a little left in you? Remember when you woke up in that scrapyard? That's where he is now, being reborn with fuck all to stop it. Good, good talk there, Johnny. Do the honors, V. Uh, baptism by fire and water. A fucking man. The settling scores. Well fucking dead. Actually, you know what? That's a hell of a way to, like, start the last mission. <laughs> you almost didn't even have to get in the water. I know. Ooh. If I jumped from a higher point, I wouldn't have done. But here we are. Gary! Gary, you drowning out there, buddy? Hey, buddy, you good? God, you're the world's slowest swimmer. My aged mother could cross this water faster than you, son. Son, please. The yacht will burn down before you get out of the fucking sea. I think I ought to start using my own pool more often. Come here, kid. I mean, Just hold your breath a little ways. Reek something real. What if it don't blow? Take that back. I'll <laughs> <laughs> come with black market C6. What do you think? I like this boat. I'm gonna leave now. Oh, hell of a night, huh? Felt like Samurai's first few gigs. Goodbye, boat. The energy was fucking raw. <laughs> nice twist of events. I got it, Nick. Yeah, you played a nice little tune, we took the Samurai out, and now he burned it. I'll be alright. Thanks. I think I'll manage. Ah, uh, you're lost. Just. Yay! And so ends Carrie Yordine storyline. There we go. <laughs> if you're gonna have a car shaped like a ramp, I'm gonna use it like a ramp. I am going to consider suicide. <laughs> yeah, she just dresses you down for ten minutes. <laughs> it's, it's just her talking shit for ten minutes. <laughs> like she could, you know what? That's the mod. I know you wanted a clean Night City. That's the mod. I want Regina. I want fucking Regina dresses me down for at, at the end of every mission mod. She just tells me how I could have done it better. It's like, oh, really? Really? I, you know. I expect a little more professionalism when you're stealing the fucking biochip. Maybe if you'd been more professional, Jackie would be alive. Just really lays it on me every time I... Okay. Just really lays it on me every time I fucking do anything, just how much she hates my guts. And I'll be like, you know what? The final mission of the game is just me shooting Regina in the face. 
Yeah, roll credits. That's it. I didn't solve any problems. I'm still dying to the biochip, but like, I feel better. I'm glad riding a motorcycle in this game makes uh makes it where gravity isn't quite as much of a law I have to obey. So yeah. Oh, good lord. Please. Ooh. What? What now? I have cr Please, no. Wait, you mean you're not calling me to ask me to be your backup dancer? This kid, you get to go help us. I do. It's about a fan of mine. The, um, the weirder variety. They're the ones that have those songs deference. that you hear. Oh. The ones that... I, who is it? One of, our fa one of our fans in the chat uh, actually has a mod to remove their songs from the game. It's <laughs> a joke. Happy to help. I. It's not me, but you know, someone. What would you say? Replace all the tracks with Kiru singing uh, karaoke. Oh my god, yes. I'd be so for that. I'll track the job, but... Oh my god, it's two kilometers back the way I came. That's why this game never ends, Crow, because it's shit like this. It's like, I'm gonna go do the ending now, and they're like... What if? What, what if instead you, you wouldn't beat up a fan of a Japanese pop band instead? What then, V? What then would you do? I, I was just fucked over you, and you're like, what? That's, <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> like, that's one thing I'd be okay with. I'd be like, oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah I will be honest with you, Jackie. That trauma did drive me to do make a bunch of in incredible decisions that have altered my life's trajectory forever, but... Hey, what the fuck, right? <laughs> but for real, though, I am dying. <laughs> huh, weird how it uh, didn't activate when he died with it in his head, but it did when we did. Oh well. That's a Jackie problem, not a me problem. Oh. That's because Jackie didn't update his job. Which you did, so. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what you get. He was running it in like Windows 8 compatibility mode. He gave you the chip before he died. Oh, you were supposed to put that in the That's slot. right. I would see when he handed me the chip, I ate it because I was like hungry. Oh, that's right. He wasn't quite dead yet. Fair enough. You're here. What the? Awesome. So was enough. I forgot you have the double pupil thing. Sure. You look better with the double people thing than you do with the like bug eyed thing. Yeah. Is that just bags of concrete out in the rain?
these kids are all going to work. <laughs> these kids. Uh, You know, it's. I'm just gonna say it. Like, it's weird that nobody in town like thinks it's weird that I. Uh, it's like she is being like I don't know. She's like look at someone weird following me. She had a shoeless weirdo wearing a samurai helmet follow her around though. Like ah, there's nothing weird here. Right? No, I feel that first off. You have enough street cred that the second you walk into any area, the majority of people are already like aware that they need to leave. Alright, I gotta go around these animals. I like that. Tells her her song's amazing. I know. Why does this rando have frag grenades? <laughs> have you seen Night City? That, I mean, like, yeah, but... Oh, shit, I lost my target. There she is. Alright, but, uh, yeah. Like, it's just got like rando here. It's just got frag grenades built in. Oh, she's a... Uh oh Frag grenades is a po approaching our VIP. Oh, wait. Oh, she might be our purse, our target. <laughs> you found your target. How did you know? She had frag grenade. NPC asked the crew with the buzz was going to space. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, might be our. That might be our girl. See? Easy ass, huh? Yeah. Blue Moon, I've got it. Did you say her? Huh. Well, there's a twist. I'm heading there right now. You're right there. We're here. We did it. I just accidentally identified her by her pres the presence of her fragmentation grenades. <laughs> <laughs> hey kid, you want a fragmentation grenade? How how do you know it was her? Fragmentation grenades. Weird. Yes. Turned out she was also packing iron in pictures of you. Where's he taking <laughs> your eyes cut out? Pretty solid evidence, wouldn't you say? Oh my god, V! Thank you, thank you so much. Don't mention it. It's what I was paid to do. A girl like that? Who'd have thought? What? What do we do now? I'd shoot her. Wait till the badges get here. But what about when they let her out, or, or she escapes? Then you give me another call. Okay, you're right. I thank you for everything. I'll transfer your Eddie soon. Promise. Go get a stiff drink. Cool your nerves. Take care, Blue Moon. Now that that's over, you okay? I knew you'd come through. You're amazing. Oops, see you later. You did a good job. I could just shoot her. Eh. Yeah. But. That's 
that's a problem for somebody who's a worse mercenary than me, or a more interested one, anyway. Now you're ready to go to the end game. Absolutely nobody else will call you. <laughs> well, they've got 2.5 kilometers to figure that shit out. Thanks. You know what, Crow? You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. I'll do them one better. I'll do them one better than 2.5 kilometers. I'll give them 2.5 kilometers and the better part of six hours. Alright, cool. The perfect time to... Okay, well the lighting's got a lot worse, but the perfect time of day to commit this action. <laughs> that got a lot worse, but it's okay. Be fine. Long as I can detect whether or not they have hand grenades, I can't lose. It is actually physically impossible to fucking see. I can't see shit in this motherfucker. Oh well. Well, sure. Yeah. We're here. I'm you get a call from Dakota and she's like, come out to the wasteland. It's dude, shut the fuck up! Shut up! <laughs> you cursed me! She literally just texted me. Oh no. And she loves this horrible music. Oh god, her music taste sucks. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, it worked. The S Crack song is kind of on the. It's kind of out there, huh? All right, cool. Well, Pan Am. I'm glad that's all it was. I'm glad that's all it was was you telling me how much you liked the worst song in human history. Now, well, second worst song. And now I'm going to go in here and, I don't know, commit crime. I don't like the sound of this rocket on my feet. I need a good slap slap of my feet on the floor. <laughs> Hello. May I go in? Thank you. Well, nobody else called me, Crow, so I'm considering this job done. There's nothing else to do. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. Hey, man, we're doing it. This we're... porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. Yo. Tattoo mods for Ichiban's and Kiryu's tattoos? That's fucking awesome. I would love Ichiban's tattoos. 
I want Kazuka's tattoos, like, actually. I'm just, unfortunately. He emptied the place. I'm not gonna have them. Excellent. You have come. Uh, yeah, I didn't wear shoes neither. Is that good? Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. I weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. Alright. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I love I know these fucking accent. I harbor no illusions about it. When a phone needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? I don't know, man. What does he ever fucking... What does what Sora Nobu love? Tell me. I have no fuck. I have well, no clue. Then, no idea. Family. Our family. I don't believe you. I was to be its heart. To uphold life. Ensure continuity. Stability. Never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. <sighs> he is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm -hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I don't know. Three times now that AB has flown by. Think someone might have told you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Take Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do. And one is very near. Where? Here in Night City. Beneath Arasaka Tower. A great place for a nuclear device. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure, man. You know how to prick up my ears. Go on, talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. 
careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. <sighs> Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. Well, that's not the most polite way to put that. Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu, Hanako-sama. Soro-soro, go-jitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Hey, look, it's your AV again. We'll soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. And I will need to return mm. to their state soon. I don't know. On one hand, it sounds like a great place for me to just get murdered. But you know what? Do you really want these people poking around in your head? Right? Exactly. No. Fuck no, I don't. Don't like this at all. It sounds like you want to use me. It sounds like. No. I simply offer you an. But then again, I can kill most of them pretty easily. But what if I am the last? You cannot take that chance. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, yeah, it's just dumb. You are bleeding. So I am. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. No worries. About that. You could use some air right now. I'm going, Chief. Trust me. <laughs> I warned you. What? What are you doing? to me see what I'm getting at yeah I get it I don't like it one bit I'm still going come strong. on face the facts pop some pseudo endo scooch and let me get behind the wheel I'll get us to fucking Makoshi yeah how exactly without that porcelain cunt's help that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. And what about Pan Am? She offered help. You bet. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sin of the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Rogue? I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections, won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. Alt cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. 
Great, you're checking out again? Oh yeah. <clears throat> of course I've got the gorilla arms. I got to use I gotta to return to monkey. Sensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Drags yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Delamant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. Okay. Don't expect a miracle. Ah. Sit slowly. Another victory for the history books. Hmm. Well, looks like I can sit up all right, but I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you will be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Take matters into my own hands? The fuck you think I've been doing? Well, whatever it is, it keeps landing you on my table. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo endotrizin there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need, Need to stretch, stretch your, your noodle? noodle? Fine. Not it's in not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Oh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Yeah. Hey V, I heard. Well, you're. What do you want, Missy? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on, and I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't Please want to up, decide here, I know. I'm... Sure. I took Jackie there once. Jackie, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. It's just his fucking desiccated corpse laying up there. Dr. 
top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumba's on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? See hey, what? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. Still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Yeah, let's do this. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? Know that we'll see each other again. What? You know. Fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this... hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. How you Probably for the all best. This, huh? Would have said too much anyway. Eh. Was good you called. Eh. Wish I eh. had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. I know what I want to do, but I know the game probably ain't going to let me do that. And that's okay, too. What I mean. Before you make Trying your decision, to save your sorry hide now. Hmm? You can let uh, me do yeah, that. Yeah, so before you make your or decision, you can try let me Pan Am and her tarmac point. rats. Like a, but then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Um, okay, I can see them now. <clears throat> now, 
here, here's your options. This is like the biggest pivot. I'm gonna tell you this is the biggest pivotal point in the game. Uh huh. This is where you decide how it all ends. No, I got you. So you could trust Arasaka. You can ask Pan Am for help. You can ask Rogue for help, but there's actually a fourth one that they don't tell you about. Okay. Where you, where you just go in by yourself. Um, and that one you have to uh, select the think you and Rogue should go, and then you just wait five minutes. And then eventually Johnny just goes, well, what if we just go through the front fucking door? So if I just choose think you and Rogue should go. Yeah, and then uh, wait five minutes. And then wait five minutes. Yep, dead ass serious. <laughs> I'm not even making that up. That's just exactly it. That's that's fucking insane. Dude, this is like Castlevania, like kneeling down by the wall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Uh, just hit the road one and then just wait in that menu for five minutes. Yeah. That's cool. The problem is I want to do all of them. But that and like that's super rad. But that isn't like the answer I'd pick in real life, right? Like this is my playthrough. Like that's rad. That's dope as fuck. And I hate you told me about it. Well, now you can do all of them if you wanted to. I mean, true. That's dope as fuck. But you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to call on Pan Am for help. Yeah. Because, uh, I like her. And I trust her. It's time for you to go with your heart. That's the one. I'm going to try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure. You can save the... No going uh, back on this, you know. <laughs> you can save the, like... Superhero ending for later. The superhero ending. Yeah, because you're going through the front fucking door. I I don't know what the fuck my options are otherwise. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I wanted to tell you about the sure the options ahead uh, ahead of you. Understandable. See you inside, Mikoshi. Johnny. Okay, just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need I don't think I made the wrong choice there. No. No. Sorry, There's no what? wrong choice. I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny. I just wanted you to be aware that soon. Of I'm your done. Choices. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to. Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A Prison of Souls? No. Yeah. This might not fly over the hollow. Exactly. Mikoshi, Everyone else is saying that's that his well. name. Yeah. The only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, Listen. again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. This is how I choose everything in my life, bro. I follow my heart to the point of destruction at every opportunity. Dick's clinic. The Ripper? I really Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. And there are worse choices with that. For that operation. 
than uh, to bet on Pan Am Palmer and her comically large rocket launcher truck. I guess it's a grenade launcher, but the point remains. Yes. There's a mounted weapon on this vehicle. You made a, you made a you save me? before you went up there, Peter? Or... Nah, I don't make saves for shit. Okay. Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Yeah, I think everybody's doing well. Come inside. Us. We'll wait together. We're getting by. We're getting by anyway. This week's been weird. I had to buy a new car, which I didn't want to do. I love my truck, but my truck finally uh, decided that it did no longer wish to be the whole of its parts, but instead to just be parts. I'm glad I had a chance to ride in it before it was gone. Yeah. 227,000 miles that thing gave me. Mind if I give you a reading? Could be do worse. Could do worse. Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through death. But, uh, it is what it is. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every... It never gave me a day of trouble before that day, so I'm happy with that. We shouldn't fear change itself. But only who... Ten years old this year. Knowing one's path is most important. So, I this layout as now I have a new car. And, and I haven't grown attached to it yet. Is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you. Named it yet. I haven't yet. I got a few front runners for the names. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The fool symbolizes the start of a journey. The announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The magician. You know, a mm. person of great talent and charisma, a leader. I really like the like tarot card thing. A card's mm. reversed. Just, that can mean a tendency toward addiction, it's, it's just mental hard instability. To, like, for it to okay. be here. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. We will, Liz. We will, and I like it. But no, I haven't named... Huh. Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. That well, Doc, it's funny you mentioned that. There's a... V? Have you been a piece of that? sorts. Huh? I have that. I kept I... it. The whole time I owned that truck, I had a sock. I, uh... On the, uh, the gear shift. Yeah, I remember fine. saying that. Okay. And Johnny's? It was a... It belonged to somebody important to me once. And it just kind of stayed there. Always. And anyway, it was always on my gear shift. So anyway, when I bought... When I sold the truck off uh, for parts. Because I did. Um, Rides here, Misty. I think that's for you. Anyway... Um, so I've got my sock. So. You scared me, you know that. I'm glad you came in after the tarot card reading. Hey. Hi. We're here to help, okay? No, she didn't want to interrupt. Everybody's she was waiting. Like, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I kept the truck and the, the sock, and the sock is mine, and it's now in my new vehicle. But now I have a di I don't have a gear shift anymore. I have a floor oh, shift. You feeling okay? Oh. So I haven't figured out how to incorporate my sock yet. The sock of Theseus. <laughs> I haven't named the car yet, though. Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. How does that work? You had us worried back there. Well, it's better than the last one. The car they tried to put me in, you changed, you shifted gears by touching buttons. Like, it had, like, a control panel, and you pushed buttons for each gear. Where'd she go? That was wild. She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might I like how I was like, I need to get into, or it's like a tower. So they brought me to the desert. I have a malfunctioning, I have a malfunctioning relic chip, not fucking... 
Not much. tuberculosis. Looks like we don't have one neither. The try here isn't gonna help, Mitch. Set out tomorrow. They know why. What our aim is. Look around, V. War tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky dick convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. Oh, Lord. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And you can have a barbecue you first you before you go by chewing me out like you usually do. Eh. Building. All right. So anyway, I haven't named the ship yet. The ship. The, tr the car yet. I haven't named the car yet, but I will. My last one's name was Artemis. And the one before that was Minerva. They tend to be the names of false gods. I like them. Uh, but as far as naming conventions go, so this one doesn't have a name yet. Uh, well, I'm dying, so. Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. <laughs> dig a tunnel? We're gonna go with this like fucking sappers? I fucking love that. Best plan ever. Some wily coyote shit. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but there's nothing saw blade comes up on the sides of... It's just half a mile to the substratum levels of our Saga Tower. You're using one of Night Corp's Cirques. You would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security Military measures, the sabotage. fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. I can't believe I'm digging a hole. Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of our Osaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing Maybe you, they're just trying to wait you, you out. To danger. One out, want to cut your losses. Like they keep coming up with I'd plans understand. that make like Hard the feelings. plan walk to, to us do. <laughs> Yeah. Decided we provided. Mind made up. I'm like, hey, <laughs> we can go shoot our way in Arasaka Tower, and she's like, no, we dig a fucking tunnel. I, fucking all right. How long do you think it's Mitch. gonna take? She's I like, think oh, I know well, probably like three weeks, four <laughs> weeks, something Come like that. You're later. like, I'm I'll gonna probably die in a week. She's like, ah, oh, man. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's. It's. I will be right there. An AI. Alright, I'll be here. Um, I'll pass the black wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, B. I'll ask it to nicely. That's a good plan. I like that plan. Being polite to the otherworldly entity helps. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Howdy. Just slide up. What up? The fuck is Dakota? You think I bothered learning your names? Oh, an avocado gang? I'm not even sure who that is. Who are you? Are you them? No. Alright. Well, luckily, for a man who's dying, I still fly through the air like a fucking superhero. Which is relevant. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, alright? We're taking the tank? Hey -o. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. This is the best ending. Nothing else that happens after this matters. This is the fucking best. We're taking the tank in.
firepower up top. What is it? A rapid fire 70 millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. All right. Slick. Talk later then, I guess. Mitch. Sure thing. That's good. Will you quit being... All right, sick. Now I'm going to go talk to Dakota. Thanks for talking to me. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? For many things, I said, I'm still... Like, I like how, like, when it's in the cutscenes, I'm, like, wobbling around him to walk. And when it's, like, me moving, I'm still flying around at Mach 2. What up, Dakota? Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. Yeah. What is it you need? Since when do you hang out with the avocado... The, uh... All the cardos. Hanging the avocados is just much fun. Okay, get in. Ice filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota. Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool. All right. Even if you look like you're about to flatline? Mmm, tank. Right, time to move. Follow the vectors. Ah, yes. I'm in the blue space. What up, Paul? Hello, Paul. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I had no choice. It was the only way I could come here, meet with you. Repression. You are good at this, and improving. Would you rather just talk to him? Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factor is rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. Listen, this is great. I'm not here to bandy riddles with ones and zeros. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side. Not so? Thinking about Song So Me? Linked to the Black Wall? Correct. The woman merely touched it, yet you witnessed the consequences. She too strove to cheat death. But a brush with infinity renders but one thing certain. Nothing lasts forever in your reality. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. 
Uh huh. All right, cool. And Johnny, what happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Cool. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes, that Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated? Sorry about that. Me You're good. Absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. Ah, yes. Loosing a rogue AI into the network. Perfect. Carol, the shard. Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spooky. Oh, we didn't tell them of the AI business, huh? What happened here? You melted half my tech. That's what happened. Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. Ah. I love a good tailgate party. Yeah. Saul, you want an award? Hop up here. I don't think he's going to start throwing somewhere? beers down to everybody, though. I wish he was. A good t-shirt can't even go a long way. All of us standing here owe you, and it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're going to be an avocado. Which means this Oh, good. I'm an avocado now. Hooray. Ready, kid. Hold on. You're one of us now, B. You deserve it after You're an Alda Caldo, dammit. Right Thanks for everything, B. And don't worry. We'll get you into that Mikoshi. Isn't that Welcome the way? Welcome to it? the family. Yeah. Welcome for our newest Alda Caldo. Thanks. Oh, I've always wanted to be an avocado. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Everything. Shit. Turn me damn sentimental. Someone get him a hanky, else the first thing will start a flash flood. Don't worry, it's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, B. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. Some basketball is to you. glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Snug as a glove. Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Alda Calder's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. 
Alright. Gotta talk to my friends. Three or four packs worth. Got any left? What's this? I might have. Yard sale, some sort. Essentially. So maybe I'll take two more forty fives. The occasion would be feeling generous today. The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic even. Actually pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Oh, Dakota. You're actually pretty nice. Thanks for the machine gun. Take all this shit and go sell it at the gun seller, like right in front of her. Uh, don't mind if I do, actually. Hold on. Is that kukri good? Hold on, that's fucking kukri. Tell me about the kukri. One forty-five. It is pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, being cool is kind of the thing. It is. Wait, why do we throw it on the ground? It is stronger than my sword, though. <laughs> it doesn't have the same reach. That's true, but it is a, but it is kind of sick. Dude, if you can get away with it, go for it. I don't know if I can or can't. I'm working that part out. Like, the sword's been my yeah, long-trusted friend. Look, like, you have to build for, like, this is going to be the last thing you ever do on Earth. Yeah. Alright, I do like the jacket. The jacket is sick, ain't it? Yeah. Barbarians do not travel, but simply advance toward their destinations or conduct raids. Alright, so I'm gonna take all of her shit and I'm gonna sell it to the... I'm gonna sell it to the gun seller within 30 yards of her. Excuse me. I have to go make some money. May I offer you all of these things I got from a nice woman outside? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. No, seriously, you can have these. They're very cool, TM. Yes, get that fucking thing out of here. I could have given it back to fucking what's her name, but opted not to. Because Regina doesn't deserve to have anything, even things I hate. There we go. See? Made a bunch of money right in front of her. That's how you do it. Yeah. Well, you didn't get to $1.2 million by just <laughs> working a 9 to 5. No, hell no. Nothing else matters. All right, I'm done with that. Let me see what you have to sell, actually. I mean, what's your what's your, what's your your situation like, my guy? What do you have? A bunch of shit I sold you and nothing in particular? Sucks. All right, later, dog. Thanks for all the free shit. Okay. <laughs> Mitch. Just happened. Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So time for. A I ride. guess what jumpsuit for you? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. Uh, he's got like a, like a chest rig. I guess. Tank time. Now, Mitch, what are you doing in Pan Am seat? All right, fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. Sure. Now, let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Seems like she's tending to the left. Fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. You're the boss. You're the ones who put a fucking who would want me to do a tank. Better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. 
I like that it projects the strike points of the missiles before they land. That's kind of neato. Nifty. All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. Hang on. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Ah, the nationally protected saguaro cactus. I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. Well, that was cool. All right, Mitch. It's a fun little tank. It was. Thank you for a little brief tank time. You nervous about tomorrow? Mitch, no. no matter of nerves. Not anymore. Mitch ain't scared of nothing. Don't you want one? I'm good. Thanks. Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? Shitting our pants. Chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing. And boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saw a lot of step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. I'm looking at you. It's like this, see? Pan <clears throat> Am's hell bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Like, I'm trying not to interrupt from Makoshi. Dude. Mm -hmm. If we pull this off. I mean, I'm just watching the clock, like, all right, Mitch, I love you, brother, but uh down south. I got I'm running out of time here, brother, and this tank shit's important, but like Gossip. Coughing blood in front of us. Yeah, it's like, man, it's, I'm glad we got also the secondhand smoke probably ain't helping, but it probably ain't hurting either. TV, your cogs are grinding. What about? Pan Am will lose her chance of taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. 
Saul gets the credit for leading. Why are we talking politics here? I, I just want to live. Blame falls on Pan Am. She's the one brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. Nifty stuff. All right, we. Oh, I agree with you. Spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Good luck with doing that shit you just said. Bye, Mitch. I want the I want the thing to go away, Mitch. Mitch, I want the optional objective to go away. Mitch, please. There he goes. Thank God. <laughs> the game's like, listen to Mitch talk to you for two hours. I did. God help me, I did. Is there something wrong with We have a say. Catch you on the trail. Uh, that's just on fire in front of everybody. <laughs> Who do you want me to talk to? I, I, I've talked to a child. He called me a name. I talked to a dude, and he gave me a piece of conventional wisdom. I set myself on fire, and I don't know what you want. You gotta talk to the people who are named. I guess. Pity folk. It's Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Everything going all right? The no nomads. I don't know any of these people except like Pan Am, Mitch, and some of the old veterans. And Dakota. She's pretty rad. Starting to get itchy hands though, you know? Best not to fuck with Dakota. That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Check. I do like the nomads though, so this isn't like onerous to me. Thanks, Dakota, you crazy person. May I burn myself for you as well? A little self-immolation. It brings the nomads together, bro. A little bit. They're like, is that barbecue? No, no, that's just no. This, it's V. He's just taking a little walk through the fire again. Routed your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn-out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, yeah, like, talk uh, to say, Tony passages the south, now. areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. I'm glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Yesterday too? We can conversate later. You gotta be kidding me! Are we done? Don't forget. What? Don't, for, don't forget old Petey. Who? You know, I'm making him up. I'm just making names. Who? Up. Who the fuck are you even talking? Yeah, I was like, I've never met anyone of that name in my life. <laughs> and yeah. trust me, I know. <laughs> no, no, no. In in the nomads, I'm like, just like, who am I Take supposed to talk to? Oh, uh, old Petey. Oh yeah, don't forget about your What's other friends. Ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh. There we go. Now I found the. I was looking for these people. I was like, where the fuck is the vets? They're the only people I really know. The last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates. Oh, that sounds fucking horrid. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said. But Bob actually is the only one I remember because his voice is cool. Ah, superstitious bull crap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. That tastes like this. Well, well, not bad. It's been since ten years old. Damn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am, because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? V, you must know where they stand. Do you? More drinking. You always take a sit before you answer. It's good manners. And also gives you time to think. Had it up to here with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things with you guys? 
Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We're still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed we don't get fucked tomorrow. Pardon my French. I can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. I don't know who Cassidy is, there, Burger. So probably. You're right. This plan is a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from All Mikoshi, right. this I'm crazy back. ass Welcome plan back. works. It'll be a fresh start for the Alde Caldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says it. Hey now, I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. Let's get the cowboy head. He's shooting bottles. Fine, I'll go talk to him. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Where's Where is Cassidy? Think we'll find anything. That fucker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. Cassidy, my cowboy companion. What life do you lead? Where do you lead it? If he's shooting things, he's gotta be near the edge of camp, right? Like, that's... That's just simple. He ain't shooting that shit in the middle of camp. Probably, TM. Oh. <laughs> he could be. I mean, if he is, he is. It's his camp. I have an apartment. I don't see this motherfucker. Out near the edge by a car. Well, I got bad news, bud. This is not, this is a nomad camp. That's where they all are. There he is. What a guess. Around like a uh, cyberpunk Super Mario. Yeah. Empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. Because you're a cowboy, Cassie. Mind at the bank. I heard that a long time ago, round right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow, so I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet... Well, I'm not gonna get it, because I can't shoot for shit in this game. Counting as soon as you step on that line. What line? Oh, the... Uh, yeah, okay, the tire track. Natural. Are you gonna get make me use your revolver or can I uh can I just use my sub gun? Probably one of those things where you have to activate slow motion. If I knew what the fuck that meant. I might what the fuck I can't tell you guys I can't shoot for shit, which is uh why I don't do it much. Yeah, you win, Chief. Don't worry about it. This doesn't bode well for tomorrow. Kid. Yeah, it's because you gave me an ass pistol and not my gun. Oh, well, I'll break more than that, kid. Also, I don't use your fucking shitty handgun for a reason, you clown. I'm a terrifying fucking high speed swordsman. Not whatever the fuck that is. Well, all right. What the fuck's going on up here? I've talked to the nomads. Nomads spoken to. I don't think I missed anybody that's super relevant except for this clown. Everything prepped ahead of tomorrow. No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, 
more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. So... Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? No. You're helping because you got no choice. I want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. B, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan, I get it. You'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Wow. You are, and I mean this, my least favorite person in this camp. Well, all right. I've talked to literally everyone of any relevance that I can think of. <laughs> and I'm going to walk away now. Well, listen, Pistol, it ain't your fault. There are people out there who trust pistols. Me? I'm a submachine gun guy. And this horrible sword I found. Well, I've talked to it. Like, please. It's just, I think that's everybody. I don't want to communicate anymore. I've talked for 30 real-world minutes to my fine collection of all the, of all the Kados, and I've talked to all the ones I like, and at least one I don't. Hey, they have to give you some kind of character development for these characters you didn't get a chance to see develop. Uh, it's not fair. I saw a lot of them develop. All of them don't need development. All of them are just people I've met and like. Uh, okay. Alright. The hell is pick? Bam, help. I'm lost. Alright. Up there. Cool. There we go. Hey, Pan Am. You see, I like the implication she was sitting here watching me fly around, setting myself on fire this whole time. <laughs> She's like, "Wow, so nice here. He could have just came up here." Wow, he's, he's an idiot. Any for your thoughts? This is a really nice view, actually. I have I'm so tense, I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. Yes! As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Feel responsible for them. Who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. Please. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will be right there with you tomorrow. And whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? Well, I know how to jump and sword mostly, but thanks for asking. V? Mm. Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Eh. As much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that.
Alright, let's get to it. Alright, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Yo, I'm gonna ask a serious question. We have a bed down there. Why do we sleep on the fucking sheet metal? It's under the stars and romantic. Nothing more romantic than my hip grinding into a fucking into tin all night long. Good lord. I'm not a smart man, but I know what sword is. Alright, there we go. There's no cinematic walk. I can force her to run. Never tire of seeing. <laughs> the cinematic walk in the hill. No, no, no. I can sprint and force her to sprint. And I will do it. Because it's very funny. Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. I can't reach up behind you. God. They're gonna love this. TM. Realized what they're stepping into. It's a little late, boys. We're gonna have to, if we pull this job off, we're gonna have to run fast and far. Back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll wanna see this. Thanks. The plan is simple. You have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. You know, I feel Being like we have to hit the maglev like tunnel construction like, I, I site the hijack and night court surf. Yeah. And last but not least. I'm not glad there weren't. They didn't get they could barely get fucking driving mechanics, yeah. bro. Like Exactly. I'm glad we dropped it. Valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox. Yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Thanks, Night Corp Crane. Seven tons. Seven metric tons. I'm sorry. I see drones. I don't see any like major Militech hardware, which is good. Yeah, it's almost like it's a construction site, and they're not expecting someone to attack it. <laughs> 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 you know? Yeah, but like they'll have a couple of guys in trucks sitting there with a logo like on it, so people know not to fuck around. But big enough that gate. They're not gonna have like tanks and stuff waiting for you. Well, like they've been talking, they've been hyping this Militech security up for like two hours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Militech guards. We can handle them, right? We can take them. It's like four guys in a Toyota Tacoma. What the fuck? I, I, look, I, I will say, there was the option to go through the front door. And while we're in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned. Thanks for the gift sub, uh, Grimos. Enjoy Nova. Always happy to have you here. I'm glad you dropped in the drop an old-fashioned butt on us. Following here at WBBL seventy six. Mm -hmm. Think I've seen enough. All right, well we're gonna go down there and beat up like this four guys that scare Saul to death, I guess. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? 
Start your engines, folks. And am I riding with you or am I? Uh... Oh, I yeah, the tank. Duh. I already forgotten this fucking thing. Um, how? There's a lot of cars between us and you, and I'll crush them, you see, I'm a tank. Yes. That... That is not... I'm gonna say this. It still has to... It still has to produce some type of downward force in order to hover. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Oh god, he's fucking shooting everything. He's firing rock- Bruh! <laughs> we didn't catch that on the Yeah, in the briefing they didn't mention rocket artillery. <laughs> There's some guy with a fucking BM-21 down here just fucking launching shit at us. Do you remember the jammer? <laughs> hey, uh, you- <laughs> I'm over here like- Oh man, it's just a construction site with four guys, they're like- some fucking military goon singing Katyusha while like loading up the multi-launch rocket system for this exact occasion. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing to drop the rocket launch to work today. Hey, forget about it. Oh god. <laughs> oh no, my fuck tank is broken. You need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones. You deal with the Panzer. What? The fuck is this? Got it. Can you put it out? Get the fuck out of not. <laughs> I love the bright pink optics on this thing, by the way. Yeah, now, I can shoot cans with this thing. Too bad no one asked me to. Are made of gorilla. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> no, Bobby. How could this have happened to Bobby? Man. Fuck this. Salt, move, you clown. We can do this. Jesus. Where are those like four Militech guys they were warning me about? No, seriously, where are they? Man, it's weird how this place was, like, vastly different than it was in my brief reconnaissance. She's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. Is there anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrapped. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? I'm glad this tank that you guys had a long time to work on is, uh, falling the fuck apart. During its initial trial run. Yeah. Also, thanks for sticking me with the fucking goofy sniper rifle. I mean, I'm pretty good with it, but like, I, I do want my sword back. This is this is really where I I shine. Yeah, they're they're like trying to tell you like yeah you don't need to You're like, but I do. It, bro, please, I am literally a swordsman. It'd be weird if I didn't. Where the fuck is the lat? 
Oh, they're up there. Fine, I'll do it myself. Hello, gentlemen. Going to work at the uh, construction site. Okay. Fully committed out. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Copy that. There's likely Mitch, a Carol, how y'all doing? Remotely to the from there. Guy, what? It's just up here. Yeah. Step over the fucking dead Militech guys that I put on the ground. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb big ass drill. <laughs> you say that, but we've been fucking up every single thing since we started this mission. Like how she's like, it's just a big dumb drill, V. Don't be scared. V, we'll need you to cover us. Got company. Cover you. Back in a second, you two. In the middle of me doing this mission, Regina calls like. There's a cyber psycho in your area. You're like, I don't, I don't care. I, did, I never cared. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the floor is not made of floor here. Yeah, Militech gets word that the beam bend in his back. <laughs> Yeah, this, this we'll send in the van. <laughs> send the van in. It'll stop them. No, they just want to say they did something, but not actually do. But well, they know they can't stop him. Because that man, is, he's got to give some kind of result. He's like, I'll just send a couple of vans and they go. Oh, what did you send the tank? He's like, you know what? You're right. I should have sent the tank. We won't stand a chance without the Panzer. Then have the higher up take care of it. Hey. See, I can, pl I can play a Corpo. Alright, what the? What do you want me to do about it? They brought themselves up. Bro, I go kill them! It's falling apart to suffer the ego. Like, that's not a good thing. Maybe I'm just not. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. Either my, either I have the best SMG in human history, or it's a huge piece of shit. And I'm gonna go ahead and like, come down on the side of, it's a huge piece of shit. Yeah. Got your car. Oh look, someone else's dumbass got stuck in the floor. Yeah, almost. Yeah, it did. And yet... Yeah, it's, uh, I have decent guns. Not great guns, but decent guns. Yeah. Hey, look at that, our tank, that was super cool, definitely should have been... That, like, they had to contrive why you didn't just solve all the problems of that fight with the tank. Oh, shit. That would have been, yeah. Not a very good tank, man. It's trying its best. It's legally distinguishable as a tank. Bro, I am destroying. What the fuck is shooting rockets at me? Hold on, I'm gonna come over and look at what you guys have. 
Oh, it's a rocket tank. They actually brought like an MLRS system. I'm really excited. Well, I guess the S is system, but they brought like an. I guess the S is system in that in that uh, acronym. But yeah. So like either way, point being, they brought an MLRS. It's very exciting for me. Just the battle tank stuck in the air. After that display, you can be sure there's a place for you in the Panzer Boy ranks. Harold, you and Cassidy keep us secure here. You got it. Mitch, you're coming with us. And yes, man. No time to lose then. Let's go. Okay. I'm putting it on autopilot and disconnecting. Okay. Now it feels like you're in like a. Everything all right? Yeah. Park ride. Honestly. Bob and Teddy are dead. And it's my fault. Teddy and Bob, they knew the risks, V. Everyone knows. Well, I'll miss him. And if you'd known how this would turn out, I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Uh -huh. Bell told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm -hmm. Alt. And who is that? Alt's an AI. Roguish. You're getting help from an AI? Yeah, I noticed what? that, Tix. Nothing really surprised like me fire. now. <laughs> Only the cable for Saka's systems. <laughs> yeah. Akoshi without her? Just, well, just I'm burn sure it. So wouldn't get out. Trust her? This alt? No! No. But it's not like I've got any other option. Just gotta hope alt isn't hiding anything. Doesn't got other plans. Why? You worried? Well, if my leg was on fire, I'd worry too. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Hey, now honey, I don't mean to be rude, but uh... They got it. I can't help but there's the smell of burning leg in there. <laughs> I hope them pants are flame retardant. That's all I can say on that. The problem is not even real fives. How much farther? Considering it's the south. world they live in, I I wouldn't be. Not so, I mean, far. you definitely don't have original from thighs. Here. Yeah, I'd be alright. You are not an original recipe, unfortunately. Shit. Do you see them? I think something's wrong. Everything has gone wrong. Be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We need you. Fellas, right. what's the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gaunt brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V. Someone make him see reason. We can't back out now. Nobody's backing out of anything. You do your thing, I'll keep military. Damn it, Mitch. They're gonna kill you. They're gonna Not today, Pan. We can't I'm back feeling out lucky. now. Alright, later. We just wasted a tank on this. Saul. Carol, He's... I'm heading your way. Hang They're in gonna... there. You owe me a beer this after this. Nothing. Two go on up and see what's gotten into them. Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. All right, let's go, Pan Am. In super, in typical cyberpunk, fun, uh, cyberpunk fashion, this shit has gone tits up from the offset, but cess la piss. Now, Pan Am, I'm be rude, girl, but we got we're running out of time here, so we need you to move. It is. No more cock ups, please. Jack in and start her up. It looks like the engine overheated and choked when drill bit met reinforced concrete. Bypassing Moment should override the Here it goes. Got her in hand. Good. 
It's a big ass drill. I can stay on, baby. This little bitch was made of like toothpicks and hope. What the fuck is going on right now? Yeah, dude. Talk to me. Some like nineties TV on, shit. Okay. Alright. Salt. The tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. it could be a problem with the comms. Hmm. We are several we are underneath many, many tons of concrete. Don't comms are not our concern at this point. Knock knock, you son of a bitch. I'm in your house now. Hi. Well, that was interesting. Good thing the only thing down here was a series of lockstep of uh, B1 battle droids marching in lockstep. Oh well, yeah. Choo choo, motherfuckers! Mm. Just not to think. It's incredible we happen to be standing right where the AHQ bomb left a huge crater. It's cool how we're standing where there was uh Isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. He was gonna say, ah yes, the irradiated hell zone. My favorite. He's having another seizure. Beefy, are you okay? Hey! Got it. Under control. Can't stop now. Anyone know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. Excuse me, miss. Like this, not one bit. You're thinking it's serious? Sure sounds it. We'll be here till sundown at least. It always like this around here? Nah, almost <laughs> never. That's why I don't like it one bit. Oh. Good job, Pan Am. Wait a really fuck that person up. Well done. Yeah, it was really cool how I just listened to them talk for a second. Okay. Wait for the outer colonists to regroup. Okay, I'm waiting. Me over here. Quick and quiet. Q and Q. They have a whole squad there. Convoy security, maybe. Okay. Things are a little trickier than we expected. Their systems must have detected vibrations under the building when we drove through. All units are on alert. Which means instant cutoff of all passages, like rats in a cage. So any access points? Gotta get to one stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. Okay. Better hope there's a port for all char too. Uh, all right. I'm sending you the shortest route. Uh, we need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. Also, nice sniper rifle inside the tunnels. <laughs> Hell of an idea, that. I brought a 50 caliber semi automatic rifle to fight in CQC as a joke.
Drop your weapon and show yourself. Yeah, we've been made, but that's okay. The cool thing is, this does not matter. Because sneaking is overrated. And swords are fucking awesome. Yes. <laughs> knock knock. There's no one here. Hey Pan Am, how's it looking out there? Oh, I see you're firing a sniper rifle wildly into the room. Hi. Okay. I'm here. Alt. The shards in. Yes. How much time do you need to? It is done. I'll be dead. Well, yes. It worked. So we can keep going. Some Koshi. Come on, man. Hi. It's the hush. I'm just going to sprint away from that. Yeah, all Cunningham kind of sucks as an AI. But then again, all AI, by my understanding, are uh, fucking horrible monsters. Today would be good. Yeah? I think this is it. We made it. A few steps is all that separates me from the ocean. You coming or what? Yeah, no, this is where one of them goes, like, B, there's something I've always wanted to tell you. You know what? I'll tell you after the mission. Yeah, honestly, that, would you two... Yeah. I hope it's you! <laughs> it's always somebody who does that. Would you hurry up. You didn't get a chance to tell me what happened at the end of the mission. Yeah, and then you talk to, uh, talk to them at the you end of the mission. You can do this. They're like... <laughs> hey, it's my boy Adam! My boy A Smasher! Damn! Really gave him the business there, Adam! I fucking don't care, Chief. I'm a fucking swordsman. He can't beat me, dude. It's impossible. I'm the fucking swordsman. I'm the bean bandit of scallops. The only person in the game too far that actually brought your health down. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd you go, you clown? Are you on the roof? You okay? You good down there? Hi! <laughs> I just came here after him! Where'd you go? Hey, come on back! I'm not done! <laughs> he can't fucking touch me! Yeah. What? No, I'm quite serious. Where are you going? You fucking coward. No, seriously, where are you going? Don't 
Just fucking die, you rat bitch. Adam Smasher, I remember you. Promised to kill Silverhand once. Gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny, he's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, got you. Silverhand triumphs. Pan Am. I'm going to miss that constant bickering. The unending. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew I'd suffer. Put a father, family into fire. And in the end, did exactly that. Yeah, I'm sorry about your friend. He kind of sucked and I won't miss him. Anyway. Where's his gun? Oh, I guess he got broken. <laughs> anyway, see you later. They <laughs> saw the sacrifice. <laughs> I'm coming. Hey, uh... Oh! Hey! Wait. You thought you could elude me? There we go. Got it. Got my judgment. Thought they could hide that shit from me. <laughs> there we are. You tell that to fucking Adam Smasher, I beat his ass. You know, look too small and he's wrong. Bro, he's dead. I killed him. You did. Bro, please. This shit sucks. You could if you get off the floor for like a minute. Please, please feed the floor. You're in the floor. Liz, I am peak performance. I don't need a V at full strength is too much for this world. Um. All right, we're in we're in the water now. That's fine. Yeah. Huh? Ah, oh, could. That's for they put shoes on me. Yeah. That would have been a travesty. <laughs> My kitty. I will miss you. Guy's name's like Nibbles, I think. A sweet nibbly child. Oh shit! What up, Jackie? Mano. Jackie. Gonna be up to our necks in juicy contracts, bro. There. I can feel it. Where are we? Is it dream? Well, now we're dead, Chief. Be all right, V. You'll see. Our Saka do this? Hit you with Soul Killer? How's that even possible? You died. Misty knew. Misty always knows. Jackie. Amigo. Really got no idea who I am? Mano. Goodbye. Old friend. Afterlife. See you there.
<laughs> Unnecessary. Let's go, then. You and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky. Yeah, it looks that way, Balthus. Like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half deserted streets. Ah, yes, the brain ziggurat. My favorite realm. <laughs> I've always valued my time at the uh, mental ziggurat. This is where all the PlayStation 2 graphics can yeah. feel now. Oh, do not ask what is it. Do you feel old now? This is most certainly not a mind pass. <laughs> this is a mind ruin. Like the evidence of a once great palace that is now just a pile of rocks. The difference being thousands of years and actual interest in whatever was done here before. Spit of Atari cartridges? Hey, Johnny. There's just gonna be some little boy. It worked. I'm gonna I'm fucking pick live. Three colors. Gotta admit, cobbled together a good plan. Been my curse and my nightmare, Johnny. But I do owe you one thing. Day to day, with Silverhand by my side, I learned to kick down barriers. Now, nothing can hold me back. I can feel it. Is that so? Meaning you've made a decision about us. Honor word with Alt first. Where is the wench? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with soul killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... Am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next steps to copy you into the god's brain. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Are you absolutely sure? Check again. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I've had enough of this. Of everything you most of all perfect because we're sticking to the plan i'm going with all fuck knows where you're keeping the body where's she even gonna take you beyond the black wall to become part of her whatever the hell that means it's like Beyond the black wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind, at least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just till we find another way. Finding another way would be making a deal with Saga. I'll pass. So really, no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there. While you come with me. Absolutely not. Yes, I meant. I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. He 
here for folks like us. Wrong city, wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Stick to the plan. Johnny, I'm sorry. For fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength. It is a great soundtrack. It is. It's like a pool of water in a fucking in our like a tower. All the shit's fucked up indefinitely. Damn, Badlands. What the fuck was that like two seconds of music? <laughs> How'd that even happen? I don't know. It's weird. Hey, that's the why is the rock? Why am I wearing boots? The fuck am I wearing, Pan Am? This damn. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. Can you not take them? You can't take them off. No. no. Just stuck with them. You'll not get any tearful she put shoes on me. That, would be tearful. that was the real you. tragic ending. I am. What I think this is her, like, this is her, like, gesture of love. Like, this up. poor stupid swordsman can't even wear shoes. So, like, what if you go into space, right? Can't and hardly your wait. forts put on the space. Are you going to have, ready, like, Arizona. space boots? Here we come. Or are you going to have, guess. like, little helmets for your feet? <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are like, wondering like little how they lost helmets. everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long the gone. The Knights of Scarlet's rarely wear shoes. Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. The city of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi, everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. Would you stay with me? If I changed my mind. Didn't want to leave. 
They're my family, V. I can't abandon them. I wouldn't want to. And I'm glad I won't have to choose. You're coming with us. And then... We will see. Then? Maybe we ought to try not living for thens anymore. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Fix drug helps a bit now. But once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Nothing's more romantic than standing within 35 yards of the big pile of trash. Let's get out of here. Sure. The garbage cow just actively burning. Get a good look at Smells like romance. One last time. <clears throat> if you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City. Good night and good luck. What the fuck am I wearing? You just need gene therapy and, and a blood transfusion. Bro, what? Like, the, the jacket's fine, but what the fuck is the... Get in the car. Can you take the shoe? I can can't. Shoe? Wow. Is this the... Is this the bad ending? Why the fuck is it... This is it yes, oh. <laughs> Oh, look, sounds like you're number one. Good for him. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Our Asaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Just realized, here I am, clapping from our Osaka again. Don't you worry. We'll pass right under the bastards' noses. We better. New beginnings can be rough. Don't you know it. The song. It's the song, yeah. It was the horrible fucking song. And this song was also relevant. This is the song that started our problems. Real uh, closure shit they're going for. I like it. What's that? Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Just realized. Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. I got you. I got my sword. Ostensibly, I've got my bike. But it works, doesn't it? say it sucks. Say, say it works. It works. All too well. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. I know. Yeah, I brought all my vehicles. Yeah. One of them's Delamain. I even brought Delamain with me. Oh, my cat. I hope we brought our cat. Yeah. Nibbles deserves to come with us. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Hey, Mitch lived. Come on, then I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his sin. <laughs> like the military guys on the desert, on the, on the side of the road there, like, are those the guys that blew up our construction site? Eh, yeah. not my problem. I think they're leaving the city. Okay, well, 
of them. We'll just let them go. There's only two of them, and they saw what I did to 24 of them. Give us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. Yeah, happy to be here. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. We can just wait. It's not gonna get to Night City. They already said so. And if it does, well, fuck it. We'll all just die here as a big pile of garbage together. Yeah. One big family. An avocado pile. A <laughs> big avocado pile. We've arrived. It's high time. Regular produce section of the desert out here. Oh, the tank's still here. You drug that hunk of shit back. Dude, the last two hours of the game is you helping people pack their shit to leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's just real life simulator. Scared to move, dickhead. Hey, what's that game where you like? Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? You stack shit in ways that are aesthetically pleasing. Everything's almost set. I don't know. It sounds cool. <laughs> it's called like unpacking or something. I think so. It's like it's, it's just you. Sounds familiar. Yeah, like you learn the story of your protagonist by just arranging their fucking room in aesthetically pleasing ways. What? Okay, I got all my shit back, I guess. Okay, they are literally just giving some of my shit back, because I was like, I already did those. Yeah. Alright. Hold on, does this mean I can take my fucking shoes off? I don't own anything else. They... Go for it. It's blocked! They won't let me. Alright. So the plan. One more time. Wouldn't it be we great won't that take any official beat crossing. this game, I think Kingdom you know Come that, Deliverance right? 2 just comes out. So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. Shoot the text. That. It's near the wall. Tunnel. You never mentioned a tunnel. Another tunnel? You never asked. It wasn't easy to find after all these years. Thankfully, it's still open. Nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. What about security up and down the border? The whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol. Heavier stuff, too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carolyn Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Yeah, the multi-billion dollar corporation that has actual warships. They can't fucking stop nine guys in a car. Then we'll move on towards Tucson. Once there, we call the shots, right? We know the roads like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. It's always more tunnels. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no I'm longer back. alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Thanks. Well, time to move before that storm finds us. Get in the basilisk. Yeah, sex tank. Are you <laughs> look, your legs are on fire this time. Real improvements here in the sex tank. Got a little cup holder. <laughs> it does. Why did they build a tank with a cup holder? Are we all set? <laughs> that seems like a really unnecessary thing, and I love it. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning, so you have to start it like a real nomad, behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? 
I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It wasn't here when I was there. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. You know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. Might be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. We'll have her take cast weird shadows. It, it can do well. Again, it is using technology we can't understand. <laughs> True. So is that storm apparently. Ready always. Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. Yeah, that storm is holding. It's just holding the pattern right there. <laughs> the holding pattern over the desert here. They're fine. <laughs> Honestly. And I was blistering 27 miles per hour. Exactly what you want. A new beginning. Another tunnel. Not yet. Wow, I'm just glad that this thing's tall enough to have to hit the roof of this bitch. I tried to fire the gun to see if it would. It did not, but it would be kind of cool if it did. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of like a long for the ride. Yeah, but... She took over at this part, because imagine you as a player trying to navigate that with the physics in this game. I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, hey, look. It's our face. We don't see much of it, but that is what we look like. You know? <laughs> that is kind of cool, actually. Just walk on a hover tank. All it careens along the desert. Also, storms don't exist in their set of walls. Known fact. Eh. Who's driving this thing? Now hold on a minute. You can't just come out here. <laughs> uh, it's on autopilot. I guess so, ladder maker, but it's just like, now hold on a minute. Man, Vic made us that. We just threw it in the lake. We were just like, you know what, Vic? This is a really sincere gift. <laughs> well, it's perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Yeah, it slaps ass. 
It's so cool we threw away our fucking... We threw our fucking necklace in the trash. Yeah, apparently we were like, fuck Vic, right? Yeah, dude. Remember Vic, who believed in us from the beginning? I know. I know, Vic, who gave you an implant that cost way more money than you ever made. Yeah, Vic, who gave us another shot at life more than once when death was upon us. Yeah, fuck that guy, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, there he is! The guy whose neck was we threw in the trash! Hey, B, you got that necklace I gave you? Yeah. Is he just screwdriving his hand? <laughs> hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. Uh, no, I left too. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders. Judy, you're so late to this party, it's funny. Alright. Enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Who's next on this parade of weirdos? Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. I never realized how hard being a chief would be. It always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just, I'm so lucky to have you be. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. Uh. Storm's closing in. 30 seconds to blackout. I guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. All right. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get like, out yeah, alive. I was two weeks away from but retirement. Hey, we made guess it. what? I got my first you know retirement why? check today. <laughs> <I'm> charge me. As bad as her. It's fucking amazing. Regions. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Thanks, Meech. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. I can't. Both of you, take care of yourselves. Damn shame about that. Problem is, Green Mouth, I spent like two months doing nothing but answering the phone. The fuck am I doing during this time? Orders from <laughs> were to blow it all to the ground. But then 
I thought. Maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. So I started selling guns to mercenaries. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Takamura most of all. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai. So I bid you farewell with the simple words. Rot in hell. Xero. I like Takamura. I hate it's the worst hey, ending for him. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What do you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of Because he's a really cool character, I just hey you kinda have to trust Arasaka to befriend him. So things might get a little hairy. Come by, we'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. Alright, well, we'll be in touch, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I'm oh God. quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you, out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. Can't escape this woman reading tarot's at me. But it is a happy ending, which is all I ever wanted. Yeah. At least Regina's not calling you. Yeah, at least, at least, yeah. Alright, so I guess that's, uh... Yeah. I guess that's that then, eh? Yeah. That's alright. What game will there be next? That is a hell of a question. And one I've been asking myself too of late. And I'm not sure yet. I guess we're gonna find out the hard way. Together! So, what is my, uh. Sorry, this song really just, uh. Just absolutely blew my fucking thoughts away. I was like, what is this? Uh, anyway, before that happened, my rating of this game out of 10, a good thing. One moment, see we play. Anyway, so, as I was saying, uh, I don't know. I think it had a lot of good things. I think this game had a lot of good things. Uh, was it perfect? No, it had some flaws. Not clearly not as many as when it first came out. I don't, I didn't play it then, so I can't like, I can't say much about that. I heard it was a travesty, but like, you know, my official line on this is this is gonna get a solid eight out of ten from me. The musical the music for it was fucking and that was awesome. The gameplay loop wasn't ever boring. Even though I felt like you did a lot of the same shit at points, I don't think that was bad. Because the shit you were doing was fun to do. Um The other endings are worth going to see the best. Fair enough. I will say that I like some things I think I think at some point the story kind of bottlenecks. What I mean is, um, you hit points where it's like, I just don't feel like the story drug on long, like went out long enough. They didn't pace it in a way that made sense. Because it feels like you could have, if you wanted to, just burned the main story in no time at all. 
They depended upon you giving a shit about the side content a lot. And that's... It worked. Like, it works, but it's not what I had in mind, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. Because it's like, a game should not depend upon its side content to bear its weight. I hate we keep making this comp this comparison. I do. But me and you both agree on it. Um, like a Kingdom Come Deliverance, right? It's a game that... It's main story, if you did fuck all else, bears the weight of how good it is. Uh, another game that has that going forward is like... I'm trying to think. Well, actually... I don't know if I want to say that completely true on that one. Actually, never mind. Redact that. But what I was going to say is that, like, there are a lot of games, I think, that have fantastic stories. And, that, like, you're, like, you're doing the side stuff because you like it. And this game really just depended upon it very heavily. And that's one thing about it I can say to its detriment. To its positive, um... The gameplay loop was very enjoyable. The music was enjoyable. The characters were relatively well-written. Um, I think that, unfortunately, Johnny Silverhand's character is the, is the weakest one, in my opinion. And, such yeah, he's, and, and since he's such a pivotal part of the game's story, I think that's weird. That he is so, like, so weak as a character. Um... Hmm. So, it's a shame. It's just kind of a shame that he was so weak, because it feels like you got a big name like uh, Keanu involved, and you didn't do, like... And you made his character so weird, where it never felt like, it never felt like his character progressed. It felt like your, his character was at all times just like wildly swinging between like, this guy's okay and what a fucking dickhead and you never knew which one you were going to get from almost like from interaction to interaction. It was like, it's like they wanted you to grow, the character to grow on you and it never, uh, it never changed. You know what I mean? It never, like, so like, they never, it never like had that happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the hacking is actually my least favorite part of the game. God, yes, it's boring, tedious, and offers very little of the gameplay too. Favorite part of the game is definitely the sword fighting. Well, yeah, flailing shit with a sword is great. Damn, Liz, I'm sorry, but there will be a VOD, and you can always watch it here. Um... Yeah, like I said, I don't know. Sorry, I had something distract me, and it's frustrating. Anyway, um, all I was going to say was, I don't know. Damn, Frozen Hawk Hunts. Yeah, it... I don't know if it was his performance, or if it was how he was directed to perform, or what. Because, like, I don't... I have no strong opinions of the way on Keanu, but I can say that I'm sure he didn't come cheap. The man doesn't like to talk, no way. It's kind of a well-known fact about him. He's not a talkative guy. And if, if you're going to pay him to spend what I can only assume is hundreds of hours in a vocal booth, like, 
you would want a character that made sense. I, I talked about this like last stream, and it's something I'm thinking about a lot. Um, there's a part in this game where they they literally paid him to deliver the line, "Hey V, a safe's a good place to put valuables." <laughs> what up, Grub Fist? Haven't seen you around lately. I hope you're well. Hello. But yeah, it's like if really. That's what you pay him for, huh? Alright, that's your money. Uh, Liz, I like this game. I had a lot of fun. To say yeah. that... I, in fact, it's because I really enjoyed it that I have so many, like, little thoughts on it. Because there's no, like... If I just if I just hated it, I'd be like, well, I hate this, and I'd just stop playing it. I've done that on the stream a few times. I'd be like, this is ass, and just dropped it. There have been a lot of games I've done that to, but this was not one of them. This is one that... I actually played a lot of the, the gigs to fill my time off stream because I liked it. I liked the gameplay loop and the little gigs and stuff you did. I liked the little side missions that didn't go anywhere. Because some of the, all of them didn't. That's another thing. A lot of the side missions didn't go anywhere, but who cares? They were yeah. fine. So yeah, I liked it. I had fun. And I can honestly say in the state of the game that I played it, I would recommend it to someone who has not played it. That's my official line. Did you find it immersive? Did I find it immersive? Yeah, actually. I'll say I did. Because, um... I, I did, in fact... Find it immersive at points. Because there are parts where I can actively remember thinking, This feels cool. And by association, it wasn't like watching a movie and saying this is a cool movie. There are things I did in this game where I said, where I had this sort of emotional response of, I feel cool. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It made me feel like I was, like, I felt, you know, immersed up the game. They say, this is cool. This is what this should feel like. This is good. And they, they hit that note more often than they didn't. There were times where I was like, really? Right, like there, there were a few, few things where I was like, "Really, right now, like this," and it mostly feels like there are little moments that broke that connection for me, and they came in the human moments of the game, where it's like, when we like had to step back from the action, someone delivers a line kind of weird, or the conversation goes in a direction that isn't organic. This game does have that, uh, where sometimes game the conversations do not flow in an organic way, and and that can take you out of it a little bit. And it is it does me because of like, you know, just. It's odd. And RPGs do that. That's not this game exclusively. Um, a lot of RPGs have that problem where there is a story to be told. And they're going to put you back on the rails at some degree. Like, they want... Like, there are interactions in this game where I felt strongly about them. But not in the way the character is allowed to respond. There were things that, like, V's character is supposed to be outraged by. I don't care about. You know what I mean? Like, there were parts where I just don't feel like the player's tone matches the character's tone. And that's fine. That's that's a limitation of the medium. You know? Narrative dissonance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Grubface, I'd be hell diving a lot, too. The old, the old pretentious term. Yeah. But it does, it does work, though, right? Is that, like, that's the yeah. thing. Is It does take me back into it where it's oh. like... Let me explain it to you. Let me, let me give you another example, right? You ever play Fallout 4? Yeah. You know the part where you catch up to Kellogg in the bunker? Yes. You know how much I gave a rat's ass about Kellogg? <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's, the only reason I remember his name is because I immediately think of Cornflakes. Yeah. I don't care about that fucking guy. Of, yeah, I know. Even though he's ostensibly the guy that abducted my son, by this point I'd seen his memories, I'd learned his story, and I know he's just a merc. That this is no, this goes nowhere. That this interaction is a nothing burger. It is a set piece. I know that, and he knows that. Well, his character knows that. But when you go to him, you can talk to him, and you say. You have three options in how you respond to him, and he says something to you. And all the, and they range wildly from, I don't care about that, to, I'm going to kill you. But no matter what you pick, your character's response is, I'm going to fucking kill you. 
So it's an illusory choice because your character is required to be upset at this man. Required to care that he thinks he's the man that stole your son. But I don't believe he is. I never did. And I don't believe it means anything. So I didn't care that much. I thought he was just, as I think now, he was just a stepping stone on the way to greater horrors, greater battles ahead. And that, like, though he's a bad guy and you should probably defeat him, if we did, if there was a way without fighting him, the game could have progressed, I would have done. Because yeah. who cares about this guy? And, like, that happened a lot in Fallout 4. That happened, it happens in a lot, of, some of the Bioware titles, the older ones have that, but that, that feeling happened a lot in this game, too, where it's just, V delivers a response that I'm sure is supposed to be the 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 emotion that the writers had intended for the player but it never really came across for me because at the end of the day i just don't think it all mattered that much or maybe i did or maybe i cared deeply and v didn't care that happened at the end of the game where when we were talking to uh what's her name hanako i was like yeah i care about that oh we're gonna ignore it okay <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some. There's like a point where you feel like you're trying to get connected with what the developers wanted you to get connected with, and that's what takes you out of it. It's when you're you're like actively trying to stay in. Um, I was gonna ask, by the way, have you ever played a game called Shenmue? Have I played Shenmue? Of course, I've played fucking Shenmue. I love Shenmue. Why do you bring it up? Have you ever streamed it before? No. Neither have I. Do you want to hang out and play fucking Shinmu? Actually, I think I did uh, try to stream it once, but yes, I would absolutely love to. They have the whole trilogy on Steam. I could be convinced to play Shinmu. <laughs> it's the ultimate kung fu movie. Shinmu is a game. And it is... A no the first one is a gr Okay. The first one is a contextually great game. Context. <laughs> Very much required. Context is required. In 1998, it was revolutionary. <laughs> yeah. In 2024, it is a travesty. <laughs> and these two things are beautiful when they're experienced together. Because I, I experienced it in 1998. So did I. But I didn't finish it or understand it or see it in its greater context until, well, two years ago. Maybe four years ago now. Um, when I watched my friend play all of the second one on uh, streaming to the Discord. And I was like, that's wild. And then the third one came out. And people waited 20 years to play what is considered one of the worst games of its year. <laughs> and boy do I've I I've played 2 or 3 I've never played 2 or 3 because I only ever played it on Dreamcast but let me tell you it's incredible and I don't know where to start with how it is it, it's, it's bananas but some of the lines delivered in that game like the, the delivery of the lines because it was voice acting I remember thinking how crazy it was to play a game with voice acting at that point like it was like yeah. So I remember it had it, and I remember that parts of Mega Man Legends did. And I remember the first two games I ever played that had voice acting, and I was like, "What is this? Like real, like you know, actually like voice?" I was like, "This is cool, right?" It was very neat. Um, but excuse me, I'm looking for the man who killed my father. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, I just sell things, man." <laughs> I'm looking for somewhere. I'm looking for. Uh, I, I can't, I will not do this justice, but it's my favorite line delivered in the entire game, so I have to reference it. I'm sorry, I'm looking for some Chinese people. <laughs> and the guy you're talking to turns to you and goes, I have a confession. I used to be Chinese. <laughs> and I lost my mind, dude. <laughs> <laughs> never heard that but that is the best it's when you learn a, you've not played it's like if you've played it though right it's when you the very first one so yeah yeah it's the first one it's when you learn about the three blades oh <laughs> yeah I, I must have blocked that out of my mind man 
<laughs> Bro, it's super relevant, but yes, I'll never forget that. You walk around, and then once you find them, you're like, you need to talk to a sailor. And you walk around like the village being like, where can I find sailors? <laughs> like, what yeah, the... you had to find the three blades. It was like the tailor, the butcher... And the barber. The barber, right. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't I don't remember the de the delivery like that though. I can't wait to rehear that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I blocked out of my head is like the poor delivery because I got used to it. Like after you walk around going like, excuse me, I'm looking for the man who killed my father to like random people on the street. I I'm just kinda like, Yeah, that's just how he talks to people. He doesn't really hide his intent. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, I love I, that game always struck me as funny too, like even as a kid, because I was like, bro, my man's not circumspect at all. It's like, a, like imagine you're I was like walking your dog in your apartment complex and a kid like a 17 year old young man runs up to you wearing a leather jacket and he goes, I'm looking for the man who killed my dad, and you're like in the apartment complex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, second floor, maybe? <laughs> rough, there's a lot of rough characters there. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just got off work at like 3. I want to go home. I your dad. I like those two schoolgirls that just swear at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like walking down the street like, fuck you. You're like, well, fuck you too. <laughs> Who the hell are you? So fucking random. Yeah, if you've not seen Shenmue, it's fun. Um, I've not played the PC release of it. I've only ever played the Dreamcast release. And I don't even know anything about 2 or 3. I, I know a couple of things about 2, but nothing about 3. Well, 3 has uh, the worst mini games in human history and is damn near unplayable. But that's okay. Like the 35-minute chicken-chasing minigame. Or the two hours of punching wood in order to become stronger. I don't mean two hours like figuratively. I mean you will spend two real world hours punching wood to be able to fight the first enemy in the game. And the stamina management. Good God in heaven, the stamina management. You can't... Like, listen, I could be convinced to play Shinmu 1. But I can't be convinced to play Shinmu 3 again. It's, it's, it's horrible, man. Like... It, what really kills it is the stamina management, like, so you have to find ways to, like, move the plot forward, which sometimes requires money, but what you find is you actually are at all times strapped for fucking cash, because if you don't have adequate money, you can't eat, and if you can't eat, you have no stamina, thus you can't fight, and at some point will pass the fuck out. <laughs> well, like, I'm looking forward to it. No, we're not playing that one. We'll play. We'll play like, the first one. I can do this. Oh my god! Sorry, you just... Shinmu causes a, like a, a violent emotional reaction from me. Uh, I'm guessing we're in the Korean team. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked up and it's Kim and Lee, and I'm like, oh shit. We're in the Korean team. Big family. Uh, been watching a lot of fucking K dramas lately, bro. Like a shitload of Korean soap opera ass shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love that shit. So, so what drew you to it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I watched one because it was the old. So, I'll tell you what got me here. But I, I kind of know, but not really. Like, there's other shit I could be doing. Just, uh, when I, when I was in the army, we were, like, we were doing something. And I can't remember where. I think we were in the desert for an indiscriminate number, amount of time, stateside, and, like, tra part of, like, you know those training operations that give a big fancy name that sounds tough as fuck, but it's actually just, like, go stand next to a cargo container. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was that. It was, like, Operation Iron Focus. And what you were focusing on was the iron cargo container in the desert. Um, that is it. That's all we were doing. So anyway, we were down here in like, the connexes in the desert. And uh, so, dates it. My friend brought a portable DVD player. 
it had like the screen and the DVD player, like the, the disc reader built into one device and it opened up like a laptop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so at night we would like siphon power off the generators to run this bitch. And um, would huddle around its warm glow and whoever DVD and whoever had DVDs just brought them forth. We like watched them like we huddled around them like like you know tribal villagers around our storyteller, and just <laughs> gently let it tell us whatever story we had. And like it's surprising how many soldiers bring DVDs to the field, not having any way to play them themselves, just hoping someone else does. You know, I never thought about that, but you're absolutely right. I had so many. <laughs> right. A lot of them on PSP as well, for whatever reason. <laughs> PSP had a fucking movie player on it. So. Um, so, yeah, we gathered around this thing, and, like, we watched, um, so first we watched, like, the old Dune, and we watched Star Wars, you know, watch some, like, manly shit but then like someone else eventually ran out of stuff to like watch and then someone's like uh i've got a musical if you guys like musicals and we're like we're fucking bored put that shit in maybe there's a maybe there's a woman in it we haven't seen one of those in three months throw one of those up on there so like <laughs> so you know we're watching like uh i don't know the name of these things but you know we're watching like musicals and shit and like anyway this one guy is like i've got this career the guy's full season of this Korean soap opera. <laughs> um, and I can't remember its name, but the premise of it was there was a cop who dies and a billionaire gets, has like, his, he dies, his organs are donated to like, you know, he's an organ donor. And like a billionaire gets his heart because he has a bad heart. And then like, he starts to have vivid memories of like the ch of like the cop's life and like falls in love with his fiance and like starts solving his own murder and shit. And it's fucking awesome, dude. Shit slaps ass. So anyway, I was like, that shit was wild, right? So I was I was vibing and it was on Netflix they had a whole section of these motherfuckers recently. And I was like, no kidding. So I checked one out and I was like, this is good too. And so, anyway, short version of the story, I've watched, like, seven of these things. They're fucking, they're almost unilaterally good. There's a few that are fucking awful. But, by and large, these are pretty good. And I'm having a lot of fun. It's like anime, but anime, there's no animation. I, I get the fuck, I get into it. it. You know, it follows certain, there are some tropes. I'm starting to see the tropes, right? Like, if there's a, if there's a impressive businesswoman, she will, at some point during the course of the show, shit herself. You cannot avoid this. It is a trope. They love that shit. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> they live for the opposites attract romance. Like, that is their fucking only form of romance. Uh, if there is a... Uh, yeah. And if there is... If the main pro the protagonist is a rich man, he will be baffled when he encounters a poor person. Like, he will just not understand poor people when he meets them. Which might be... Like, he's never heard of poor people. Uh, and, like, these are the tropes you can expect from Japanese, from Korean soap operas. And I fucking love them. <laughs> so good. Bro, I am... <laughs> nah, dude, these shits are fucking awesome, dude. So, uh, yeah, no, that's my, that's been, like, my, my hobby lately. It's, like, I work, I sit, like, when I get in from working and going to the gym and stuff, um, if I don't have housework to do, and, uh, my partner's at work, I'll just sit in front of the TV, um, my couch collapsed, which is a little unfortunate, uh, and so I've been sitting on a folding chair with a folding table building Legos and watching whatever drama the Korean people have uh, have graced the West with this week, and it's uh, real good. It's just good. <laughs> uh, God, it's very very funny, and I I am a huge huge fan of them. So, uh, if you've Netflix, if you yeah. bothered paying those people any amount of money, which you know, it's dubious if you do. Uh, but I do, because 
I am bad with money. Um, and like Korean soap operas, they have a channel, like a, a subsection dedicated to them. If you don't mind reading, give them a look. Uh, I would give you a recommendation, but I really don't, I really don't think I can. Um, Vincenzo, I guess. Vincenzo's real good. It's one about a, it's a real about an Italian mafioso who is Korean by birth, who, due to a hit being put on him in his new adopted land, returns to the motherland, where he has a plot to steal a large amount of gold from, from underneath the hapless feet of hapless apartment tenants. And runs afoul of the Chinese triads and their business ventures in the process, and it's very cool. So that's one I'd recommend. But yeah, so Vincent says real good. There you go. That's my bit. That's my plug for you. But uh, yeah, they're good. So if you if you don't mind reading some subtitles and you got the time, check that shit out. Yeah, sounds awesome. And I'll be coming to see you soon. <laughs> it's true, you will be here soon. But we'll probably just be playing games and going to food truck festivals. Yes. Uh, Samurai right now, the one I'm working on is the boarding of the Tantive 4. But I've got a bunch of them on my table. I'm, this week, I promised my partner I would not like work hard. I would just I would do as little as possible and work on Legos. But instead of doing that, I've been looking at houses to buy and unfortunately doing everything but what I still have to do. I did start on the boarding of the Tantive 4 because I promised Crispy uh, one of the minifigures out of it and I didn't want to delay getting him that. The problem with it is it's in like bag 4 of 4 so I, I've got to build the kit to get to it because I don't want to just empty bag 4 into a different bag and then like you know lose something or fuck it up which is something I'm actively afraid of doing. I'm not going to lie to you. So that's where we're at on that. But yeah, so that's where we're at on the the Legos and the world at at large, unfortunately. I also noticed these credits are quite long. My God, they've been going. Yeah, I mean, like we we run till five today, so I've been kind of just enjoying the time to talk you, and talk to you guys. Yeah. Howdy, TK. Just thinking everybody who's played it and it goes by the list of name. You see your name in there. You're like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> how did you? How yeah. did you know? So get doxxed by the the fucking like in credits of uh, cyberpunk. Dude, honestly, Samurai. Well, I've been waiting, right? Because I want to see if there's anything more to this for a reason. And that is, I was told the ending would be would be affected by the completion of um, Phantom Liberty, but I ain't seen shit, so... I... Yeah, I don't... I, I've not noticed anything. I was told that, but yeah, as far as I can tell, ain't shit different. Not that I'd know the difference anyway, but like, ain't nothing that calls me back to it, so. Y'all can't see that I just did a real fucking rude hand gesture about it, but like, just know that I did. <laughs> you did. Thank you. I felt it. I, yeah, I did what I was supposed to do there, is the thing. Except that's the thing about this, I did do what I was instructed to do there. Uh, with minimal exception, which is to say that I did it in typical my way, but the ending should be effect should have been the way it should be, and it's uh, I made the choices I was told are relevant to the end. To but it doesn't matter, because I did want to like you know see all possible content uh, content because I'm be straight with you guys I uh, I'm not gonna play this game again. I this is this is the end for my time with. Cyberpunk 2077, I've got to make room for the next thing. Whatever that is. Shenmue. Shenmue. It <laughs> might be Shenmue. I'd, I'd have to purchase a copy of Shenmue, which it's like nine bucks, I think. It's not like crazy. I just, you know, have to do it. Bastion. I looked at Bastion. Actually, Grub Fist. And I remember it not looking like my style of game, if memory served. I'll look again. But I remember thinking like that's just not for me, if I'm right, if I remember correctly, because I I I just don't want to play a game that doesn't look like I'd even remotely enjoy it because I don't want because I know you care deeply for it and it's one of those things where it's like someone loves this game, and I am going to make a horrible display of that. 
But yeah, man. Yeah. What you got going on since we're coming up on the end of this thing? What you got going on in like in the days ahead? Well, other than just some production stuff, uh, not a whole lot. I was going to go visit my family, but they decided they're going to go on a trip. Uh, they didn't realize I was coming up this week, so yeah, I'm postpone that for a while. Uh, I'll be going to visit you. True. And yeah, it's also a friend's birthday on Wednesday. <laughs> nice, nice. How was your birthday? It was Saturday. Yeah, it was fun. I had a good time. I streamed a little bit with Tex. Hell yeah, dude. Had steak. And... Ah, dude, a good steak is worth it. Yeah. Like much. I like it. Uh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, Persona 3 is out. I I didn't even consider for a second playing it on stream. I have it. Need to play it. Again. I, dude, that's such a hard sell on me playing that one, Spider Maker. The answer is also... Yeah, I've been announced. Uh, Night Owl just told me that, and I was like, "Cool, I can suffer in depth." I'm not ready for that yet, though. There's, there's too much on my plate. One day I will sit down and just. That's the problem with Persona games too, is that I, though I love them, they devour. They de kind of devour me once I get into them. Uh, and I, anyone who like really enjoys the series knows exactly what I'm talking about. I think, and I just don't. I'm not ready to keep. To get eaten by that shit again. But yeah, man. Well, yeah. Hang we're here. Um, we're here, all right. Thanks for playing. We did it. We got to the end of all things. Good lord. Alright. Alright. Where the fuck am I? I'm just in the dirt. Here are my rewards. Available in my backpack. Gorilla arms? There's a, there's a pair of arms in my backpack. <laughs> Those weren't there before. Berserk. Magic Berserk. Avocados Rally Boy. And Judgment to record. Cool. Well. We're back here. At, like, you know, the spot before it all begins. Which is cool, but kind of like generally speaking irrelevant so i don't know what what doing the dlc really did for me in terms of like the actual ending i did i i guess you kind of just have to head cannon it right so for those who know and those who don't i'll so for those who don't know i won't spoil anything i will give those who do will understand what i'm talking about when i make these vague pronouncements so here's what i did I put a crippled woman on a rocket ship to the moon as a joke. Uh, she pro she promised to give me vague assistance uh, in the future with healing me. She sent me a letter right before the game ended that I that I you know did read that said that she was sending me aid. So I'm of the assumption that we can, on some level. Can, it, you know, determine as canonicity that V did receive the aid offered by the moon-dwelling cripple to survive his, you know, gene mutation. That is yeah. what we can assume, or at least we can canonize within reason, I think. Yeah, I think that's fair. Anything else? Like, because, you know, that's what we got. I mean, aside from her, like, coming down... From the ship, with like a a package that just says cure. Yeah. Hands it to you. <laughs> yeah. Outside of yeah, her literally spoon feeding it to me. There is nothing. Uh... That's my assumption, right? So yeah, that's what we got for you, I guess. Um, I'm probably gonna play through at least the other ending, the quote-unquote secret ending, 
here in just a like an hour or so probably myself. I'm just gonna speed run that bitch. Uh, and walk right in the front door with Johnny. And see where that takes us. And uh, I'll update y'all if that changes anything. But if I'm honest with you guys, I got the ending I wanted. Yeah, the really cool ending. It's a right off into the, the, the sky water. Yeah, I was gonna say, riding off into the... Riding off into the... Well, the sun wasn't setting. It was already down. Riding out over the lake with Pan Am and a and the fuck tank is really the ending V deserved. Roll that work, hell yeah. I was like, I can't imagine a version of Vince where that isn't what V earned. And a right to relax. Throw treasured items from precious loved ones into the lake. And just start a new life in Arizona, not answering the phone when those he cared about and met on his journey called. Up to and including his partner. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's the, uh, that's Cyberpunk 2077, y'all. All right, everybody. Come along for your journey. They, yeah, no, you are welcome on any journey I go on. You are, you are always welcome, my friend. You know that. Uh, we'll look into when we start Shinmu. I don't know what I'll do next. I'll look at what games I already own because I, there might be something there that I'm excited to start. And if not, well, because I have this thing. I don't like, I don't like a lot just buying games to stream them like you know just as like this is content aha uh -huh. like i want to be things i actually want to do and i like i think shit shinmu i, I am 100 percent down for make no mistake that's not me saying i don't want to do it that's me saying but if i got something else in here i'm excited about i'm doing that first but yeah i'll uh i'll keep you appraised of what we're doing next and if you want to be along for the ride you are more than welcome all right all right thank you man all right well Thank you, Gang Pro. Love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm always blessed when you guys come to hang out and spend an afternoon watching me game it up and talk with friends here. So everybody, have a good night. Um, I will talk to y'all again later. Anything from you, Crow? No, everyone have a good day. Thanks a lot for hanging out. Yeah. All right, everybody.